at forty six fifty. It's like, dude, holy shit, dude. Like, man, your eschatology, uh, as near as I could tell, it's like out of order. It just doesn't work like that. It can't work like that. See, <sighs> so, uh, man, you're missing the whole repentance part, man. It's like, look, play it out. Let's say that, uh, you know, secular Israel, uh, Zionist fucking abomination, right? Let's say that those guys go and destroy fucking Iran and Syria and Iraq and fucking all of them, right? And we'll make it so that there's no evil left. And then Mashiach can come, you know? And it's like, hold on a minute, man. Uh... Haven't you read that 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 Shiar can't come until you say blesses he comes in the name of the self existent and uh, it's like it's I know I know it's got to be painful it's got to be painful it's so much to undo you know so much to undo but think about it man. Think about it as as though you were like a four year old or six year old or whatever year old, you know. And you think, hey dad, so this right here it says we've inherited lies from our fathers. So did that happen? And then you're supposed to say, you know what, son? Uh, that's a tricky thing. See, you need to have a relationship with the Most High in order for Him to be able to tell you uh, so that you can grow in discernment uh, so that you can tell the difference uh, because it's not clear cut um, it's not clear cut anything that comes from a human being man you gotta you gotta you gotta, you know, give it uh, the anti-benefit of the doubt. Give it the detriment of the doubt. Uh, now, this is for your, for your like, keeper container, right? This is for the shit that you, the foundational, you know, stuff that you build your brain on. Foundational stuff, if it comes from a dude, you gotta check it out. You gotta prove it with the Torah. If it doesn't line up with the Torah, then you gotta discard it. It's better even... Figure out why you have to discard it, okay? But to discard it, that's the primary thing. So, what I want you to do is, I want you to look into the Babylonian calendar. You tell me what the Babylonian calendar is. Hey, Dad, this looks exactly like our calendar. Bingo! Now, I want you to read Genesis, yada, whatever chapter. I'm pretty sure, let's see. It might all be in six. It's around there, six, seven, eight, something like that. And uh, you read, oh, the water is flat for so many months and so many days. And hey, Dad, so this is, this is years, 360 days. How's that? 354, 360, what's going on? It's like, bingo, good job. All right, so what we got here is definitely 30 days a month, man. Definitely not the Babylonian calendar. And so, like, uh, man. You know, did we inherit the Babylonian calendar from our fathers? Oh, man, you know, the, the prime candidate for, like, a lie that may have inherited from our fathers. Good job, son. You know what? Because you did that, uh, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to do some crazy awesome stuff for you for, like, the next 10 years or something. That was a really, really good one. I mean, seriously, you're on point. If you keep that up, if you keep that up, uh, <laughs> We're going to get you a vacation to anywhere on earth you want to go, okay? Uh, I'm thinking about doing that just for what you did, but 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 I want you to do it again. Okay, that was really good. You did that so easy, like, okay, let's see you do it one more time. We'll get you a vacation anywhere, right? Two weeks, and you get to bring your two best buds. Bingo, I know I have it. Yeah, yeah, man, I know, I know, I know, okay, good. Go play your shit. Go go play. Go get into trouble. A little bit of trouble, not too much trouble. And let's see if we can do this again tomorrow. That's a great job, dude. Great job to ride your bike. Go have some fun. And so, uh, become like a child. Pay attention to your children. Your children are on another level than you. 
don't presuppose that that level is lower than the one that you're on. Like, come on, man. It's more, uh, what do you call it? Fungible? Yeah, that would work. It's more fungible than that. Uh, and so, essentially, it's like, uh, what's your job? To repent. Then, the Moshiach, okay, who has the actual title of Tetragrammaton, okay, it's like a, it's a, it's a family name. And so, like, you know, y'all should want to be adopted into that family, too, and so maybe that's what you're trying to do. You know, I mean, that's what I try to do. And so, uh, you know, uh, when it comes in the name of a self-existent, uh, you know, just for blatancy's sake, it's like, that's me. And uh, you got to prove it or you got to disprove it. But you got to do one or the other. You can't just lay down and do nothing because that's not righteous. So, you know, it's like, we almost made it through this video. Keep chugging, maybe. It's getting pretty late. 